ADP to Active Directory integration is a common problem in almost any mid to large organization. It is also a costly one. To give perspective, one of our customers is saving over half a million dollars by using this single integration. Before we get into details, let's understand how the process is handled today in most organizations. Whenever the employee joins, leaves, or changes roles in the organization, an event is first created in the ADP HR system. The HR associates will then create a case or a ticket in the ticketing system like ServiceNow or JIRA for the system administrator to create, delete, or update an Active Directory account for the associated employee. System admin receives the ticket in his work queue. He creates an AD account and then notifies the HR and employee through email or the ticketing workflow. In a typical setup, the system admin activity will take anywhere from one and a half to two hours. By using the ADP to Active Directory integration, you can save one and a half to two hours of system admin task per employee lifecycle activity. This can translate into savings of anywhere from $120 to $200 per employee. In addition, the automated integration can optimally grant roles based on access and other applications based on Active Directory security groups, which themselves are derived from employee job roles. ADP to Active Directory integration can get the HR events through API calls or file feeds. In this demo, we can use file feeds for ADP. The process can use any combination of employee attributes to make decisions on his role and security group assignments. In this demo, we will use that job title and location to drive the role and security groups in Active Directory. All of the mapping from the employee attributes to assignments of security groups is fully role-driven and configurable. Today we are going to use RoboMQ to show how easy it could be to activate a new hire and initiate an automatic series of onboarding procedures to save time and avoid human error. With a couple of clicks we can create a new employee, give them all the relevant access to the accounts, and have all of their information in one convenient location. Furthermore, you will be able to show how RoboMQ will not only allow you to add a new employee, but initiate changes in roles, a movement to a new location, a leave of absence, termination, or even reactivation. Finally, RoboMQ can even activate a sequence of automated emails which will alert the employee to what steps need to be taken in their hiring process. The steps will be followed as they are illustrated here. First, we will securely transfer the files to the FTP location being pulled. Next, the file listener registers to the file for processing in RoboMQ. Third, RoboMQ coordinates data delivery and workflow processing with connectors running as Docker containers. Fourth, AD connectors create identity in AD. Finally, the SMTP connector sends welcome or reminder emails. It's as simple as that. In just five steps, we'll do before what would have been hours worth of work for a system administrator. Without further ado, here's the simple step-by-step. -step. Our demo starts out on the Active Directory page. Our first task will be to hire this new employee. We see here Jane's personal information in a secure file. We'll be hiring Jane as a facilities associate in the Loudon location. Here we see the secure files being uploaded to the FTP location. We move a file containing Jane's hiring event along with other such events. When the file is uploaded, we just refresh the page and we're able to see that Jane has been added as an employee with the facilities associate description, as simply as that. When we click on user attributes, we can see that she is a member of the correct groups giving her access to the necessary databases. Furthermore, we see that she is an hourly employee and even who her supervisor is. We could go into more detail here on the system admin level and show how the employee can be assigned specific emails to receive and much more, but for now we'll simply move on. In our second scenario, we assume that our employee Jane has done exemplary work and is going to be given a position change. We want to change her from a facilities associate to a site manager. Firstly, we can see that she is not currently in the manager's group, meaning that she will not have the permissions necessary to access everything she may need as a manager. Thus, we repeat the steps almost as we did before, transferring a file with the new information detailing Jane's new position to the FTP location and then on to RoboMQ. Once the file is uploaded and the page is refreshed, we will be able to see that her job description has changed and that Jane is now listed as a site manager. As we see here, Jane has been added to the Loudon Managers groups, thus she will now be able to log on to anything that she may need in the new position. However, she still remains in the security group for all security, giving her access to the information that she had before and much more. Through RoboMQ, this process would save a manager or assistance administrator a huge amount of time, where before Jane would need to be given login credentials for each individual system to indicate that she is now a manager, it can be done in a matter of about 10 seconds. This method also significantly decreases the chance for human error, which is a major risk when handling sensitive passwords. 
In our next scenario, this employee, Jane Smith, is going to be moved to a different site location. She will be staying in her same position, but she will simply become the site manager in the Dallas location. The process is very similar. The only part of the file that will change is the location code. The file is then uploaded and processed, and we see that Jane has been removed from the Loudon office, revoking all of her privileges there. We will see that she has been moved into both the Dallas All Security Group and the Dallas Managers Group. Once again, this is an example of the process would have been incredibly time consuming without RoboMQ. The next step in Jane's employee process is that she's going to be taking a leave of absence. During this leave of absence, she's expected to return at some point. Examples could include vacation, pregnancy, or illness. We run the process uploading the file stating the leave. When the file is loaded, we see that Jane's status has been changed from active to inactive. None of her information has been deleted and her history will still be available in the same location where she was when the leave was activated. However, she is added to a list of people on leave who are given limited login rights and limited access to corporate applications. This removes some risk of security breach while she is away but allows her to be easily added back. The final maneuver we will illustrate is Jane's termination sequence. We will once again change the file to add Jane to a group labeled disabled and upload to the FTP location. Once it is reloaded, we can see that Jane has been labeled as terminated and placed in the disabled group. In the disabled group, her information will be kept indefinitely for record purposes, but we will automatically be removed from all security accesses and have no access to any part of the company databases or sites. Using RoboMQ fully assures that the terminated employee will be removed, leaving no room for error by a systems administrator. Finally, RoboMQ's ADP integration gives the opportunity to send automated emails to employees regarding their position, title, privileges, or just reminding them to fill out any necessary legal and regulatory onboarding paperwork. Here you see an example of one of these emails, which are easily customizable. We hope this demo has shown you how easy RoboMQ has made ADP integration and how beneficial it can be. Not only does the integration save time and subsequently money, but it removes the potential for human error, allowing increased security for your business with no extra effort. We demonstrated how you can use RoboMQ to integrate HR systems through Active Directory to ADP. However, RoboMQ can also be used to integrate many other applications such as Workday, Oracle, HCM, SAP, SuccessFactor, and other SaaS HR systems. Whatever application you use, RoboMQ can simplify any of your employee role changes procedures to save you time and money. If you would like more information on RoboMQ or our products, check out our website or contact us at info at roboMQ.io.